My fears made me a manufacturer. It's so hot today, I can't even talk. This is why I didn't take a video for two years. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Burçin and I'm thrilled to share my journey with you. Today I want to tell you about how I became my own manufacturer. That's right, I do everything by myself without outsourcing. A little about me, I'm a software engineer, but three years ago I decided to follow my passion. But you'll see later on that this, this background opened to me too much doors. As a software engineer, I didn't quit my job at first to invest in, invest, in, invest in my business. Drawing has always been my favorite hobby since primary school, but I never thought it could turn into a career. So three years ago, I started my stationary business as a side hustle. I began designing on my iPad and bringing those designs to life with my own equipment from a, a cheap inkjet printer and a Cricut machine. I wanted complete control over my products, so I never outsourced. To be honest, at that time my living room has turned into my office. Uh, I was making notepads, bookmarks with my own designs and manufacturing them myself at home. Uh, I made makeup bags to sell with my sewing machine. I didn't want to outsource anything uh, because I didn't have enough money at that time. I only started this business to try if I can be successful or not. Uh, if it was a fail, then I would go back to software engineering and I didn't want to risk anything. My fears made me a manufacturer, basically. As my, manuf my stationary business grew, I rented a 30 square meter office. Because of my job, living room was a complete madness. My husband wasn't able to walk to just sit down and watch TV as my supplies, products was everywhere. So I rented an office and moved to my first 30 square meter office. I invested in more equipment to keep up with demand. Within a year, I added a, a printing press machine, a guillotine cutter and an automated cutter machine for my stationary business. While I had these machines besides my stationary business, I started commercial printing such as stickers, posters, notepads, mouse pads, mugs, leaflets, booklets, etc. I also expanded my office space from uh, 30 square meters to 90 square meters to accommodate everything. Then I could able to produce more products for everyone. I wanted to diversify my business ventures. This way, if one business faces challenges, the others can continue generating income. Then uh, I researched a lot about what to do next, uh, what machines that I can afford, what machines it can bring more income. Uh, I purchased a 10 needle embroidery machine to produce embroidery t-shirts, sweet shirts, caps, and I purchased white, white format printer for vinyl stickers and posters printing, uh, heat press for sublimation for mouse pads, coasters, mugs, or to apply detail transfers to the t-shirts and sweet shirts, uh, label printing machine, uh, summa cutting machine, and also I upgraded my photography setup and purchased a new camera, a new lighting setup, etc. Uh, my business expanded to multiple ventures. Uh, I'm currently running commercial printing business, uh, which I'm printing stickers, flyers, flat leaflets, postcards, uh, business stationery, uh, and clothing line. Uh, leather goods such as uh, leather, leather wallets, leather do dog collar, handmade by me, uh, 3D printed products, woodworking, uh, candle making, laser engraving. Uh, I love taking on new challenges. Now I'm proud to operate out of a 200 square meter warehouse. Have you ever wondered what it's like to handle every part of your business yourself? It's challenging but incredibly rewarding. Stick around and I'll show you how I do it on my weekly videos. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that subscribe button and 
click bell icon so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. If you like what you see, give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. Today we have a couple of orders to do. I'm printing the orders to categorize them what I need to do today. Categorizing it according to my business type because the machines are different. For example, sticker printing, flyer printing. I'm printing your designs. You are sending your designs to me and I'm printing according to size you choose while ordering. Business card order. Flyers, stickers, 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 vinyl decals. We have vinyl designs that we are making a waterproof vinyl that you are putting on your shop windows, like ring the bell design, store opening hours sign. You can check out my website to see all products we have. We are also printing waterproof vinyl stickers. Also, we have gloss paper stickers. You can check that out as well if you need any stickers, flyers for your business and break koans. Someone ordered natural organic backpack and the other one is home wood sign. Now we categorize our orders, we will prep them. I decided to start with the easy orders for packaging first because the others I need to print it, cut it or just cut it. One of them is natural organic backpack, which is this one. This one our one of best selling backpacks. This is a hundred percent natural bag, also a hundred percent cotton. You can put a lot of stuff in it and it's really easy to carry. You can use it every day. I'm using it every day. So it's really useful for me to carry it. So it's looking really elegant. So one order done. The other orders from Breco dot com is custom home, home sweet home sign which is this one this is that i use for photography but customer wants three children name here so i will make it later with you so this is just an example for you to see how my product is so we'll pre prepare it today so another one while we are here our breakfast order almost done we'll make some stickers my sticker machine is there so we need to change sticker roll because Five customers all the same size and same shape of stickers, which is circus stickers. We need to go to fill out roll stickers. Machine is ready to print. This is a printed example of the sticker that I need to print for this order. As you can see, there is white borders here, which it shouldn't be there. Logo needs to be on the center of the sticker. It's taking so much time to figure out to make it center perfectly. So we'll do that first and then print the rest of the orders. After a couple of tries, now we sorted out and we can ready to print the rest of the stickers. We'll print 200 of them and we'll continue to print the rest of the orders. Uh, she ordered with the same design but the black area will be white for her second order. So we'll print that after this print. This adjustment is taking so much time, but it's really worth to make customers order high quality. As you can see, color quality is amazing. I hope she'll like it. While printers is running, I need to multitasking. So we need to pack these and we will make this sign for this order. But first we need to cut some vinyl. I'm taking some white vinyl to the cutter. So we will cut this for the other orders. I forgot to take black one. The ring the bell vinyl decal order was black. This is not black, obviously. There it is. This is the black vinyl. This is dark gray vinyl. We have totally different vinyl options at the moment. I'll cut this for the bell. Vinyl decal. I forgot to feed my fishes, so let's feed them first. After that, I'll continue to fulfill the orders. There you go. Done. This is my my weeding box. I'm using as a bean, small bean. I'm peeling out unwanted areas. I'm putting it here. It's easily releasing underneath this tool. So I designed this by myself. This is 
3D printed spot. You can open it and you can take rubbish from it. And you close it, now perfectly nice looking weeding tool that you will use for your weeding process. You can find it on breco.com if you need one of them. Now I'm in downstairs, I will make home sweet sign. First I need to cut this glue to the size. Now I, I will make flyer and leaflet orders. I'm going to organize them according to paper type. I'll print them, cut them, pack them and ship them. Let's do that. I have all the jobs which I need to print today in the RIP server. So I'm going to print them first. They will come up here. And I have two cutting machines. One of them is this one, automated cutting machine, which I can cut A5, A6, A4 size with them easily. If customer ordered in bulk, so this will take time to process it. I'm processing this with small orders. The second option I have is guillotine. I'm cutting with this, with the big amount of orders. Let's do it. And this is double-sided A7 size flyers. It's gonna be being cut here. Yeah, because the other automatic machine doesn't have a seven size knife in it so we're gonna use guillotine for this i'm putting orders to not mix it up then next orders Next, I'm going to change paper and then continue to printing. These are being cut by cutting machine. I opened the big door because it's so hot in today. Printing is done. But today I can't even talk. Actually it's 22 degrees but when I check weather this week will be very hot. So let's see. With this machine, these machines are making the warehouse very hot. So because of that I'm open the big shutter door here. Ah, let me show you around. While I'm talking, I don't know if you can hear me because machines are working. It's so noisy inside. This is around of my warehouse. Here is my warehouse. This is grand floor. This is first floor. I can't even stay in inside of the warehouse. We have air conditioning for both floors, but of course it's not cost effective to run them. But sometimes if we have to, we are running it. We have to use it, otherwise we are gonna burn here. Let's continue working. Yes, I'm still outside while machines are working. It's really hot today. I'm melting. Literally, I'm melting today. Weather is nice. A few seconds ago, I 
TikTok video. It took me to 15 minutes or so. But when I realized, I didn't press the record button. This is why I didn't take a video for three years. Am I recording now? Yes, I am. I get, I'll get used to it soon. The order is being cut to final five size. It is almost 3 p.m. Printing and cutting will be done very soon. And I will ship them tomorrow because today my job is done. But it's really hot, so I don't want to stay any much longer with the machines. This is backside of our warehouse. This is actually emergency exit, but it really worked when I opened this door and the other big door. Air conditioning thingy. This is our neighbor's warehouse. This area is little forest or something like that. I don't know what's behind that trees, but at upstairs there is a window there. When I look from that window, I'm seeing deers. They are really cute. Back side of warehouse is better than the front side because there is sun in there, but here is just shadow. The next thing I'm, I'm going to do is finishing up the all orders. I think I will be handling them within two hours and then tomorrow I'll pack them and I will go to post office to ship them. I'll see you in a sec.
watch this far thank you so much i i really appreciate that you watch my whole video please don't forget to subscribe and if you want to tell me something please leave your message in the comment below i'll see you on the next one